Placenta accreta is a serious pregnancy condition that occurs when the placenta grows too deeply into the uterine wall. Typically, the placenta detaches from the uterine wall after childbirth. With placenta accreta, part or all of the placenta remains attached. What are the different types of placenta accreta? There are three types of placenta accreta. Providers determine the type based on how deeply the placenta is attached to your uterus. 1. Placenta accreta. The placenta firmly attaches to the wall of your uterus. It doesn't pass through the wall of the uterus or impact the muscles of the uterus. This is the most common type. 2. Placenta increta. In this type, the placenta is more deeply embedded in the wall of your uterus. It still doesn't pass through the uterine wall, but is firmly attached to the muscle of the uterus. Placenta increta accounts for about 15% of cases. 3. Placenta percreta. The most severe of the types, placenta percreta happens when the placenta passes through the wall of your uterus. The placenta might grow through your uterus and impact other organs, such as your bladder or intestines. It accounts for about 5% of cases. This can cause severe blood loss after delivery. Placenta accreta is considered a high-risk pregnancy complication. If the condition is diagnosed during pregnancy, you likely need an early C-section delivery, followed by the surgical removal of your uterus, hysterectomy. That is, surgery is the most common and effective treatment for accreta. After the birth of the baby, this usually involves either the surgical removal of the placenta or a hysterectomy to remove the uterus along with the accreta. The ovaries are almost always left in place if a hysterectomy is performed. Placenta accreta often causes no signs or symptoms during pregnancy, although vaginal bleeding during the third trimester might occur. Occasionally, placenta accreta is detected during a routine ultrasound. Causes. Placenta accreta is thought to be related to abnormalities in the lining of the uterus, typically due to scarring after a C-section or other uterine surgery. Sometimes, however, placenta accreta occurs without a history of uterine surgery. Risk factors. Many factors can increase the risk of placenta accreta, including 1. Previous uterine surgery. The risk of placenta accreta increases with the number of C-sections or other uterine surgeries you've had. 2. Placenta position. If the placenta partially or totally covers your cervix, placenta previa, or sits in the lower portion of your uterus, you're at increased risk of placenta accreta. 3. Maternal age. Placenta accreta is more common in women older than 35. 4. Previous childbirth. The risk of placenta accreta increases as your number of pregnancies increases. Complications. Placenta accreta can cause a heavy vaginal bleeding. Placenta accreta poses a major risk of severe vaginal bleeding, hemorrhage, after delivery. The bleeding can cause a life-threatening condition that prevents your blood from clotting normally, disseminated intravascular coagulopathy, as well as lung failure, adult respiratory distress syndrome, and kidney failure. A blood transfusion will likely be necessary. Premature birth. Placenta accreta might cause labor to begin early. If placenta accreta causes bleeding during your pregnancy, you might need to deliver your baby early. Meaning, placenta accreta often leads to preterm birth. Preterm birth carries risks such as respiratory problems or trouble gaining weight. Babies born before 37 weeks of pregnancy have a higher risk of being admitted to a neonatal intensive care unit for specialized treatment. Now after all the lectures, how do you diagnose placenta accreta on ultrasound? Placenta accreta represents the abnormal attachment of the placenta to the uterine lining, due to an absence of the decidua bacillus and an incomplete development of the fibrinoid layer. Ultrasound findings suggestive of accreta include 1. Placental lacunid. 2. Myometrial thinning to less than 1 mm. 3. The loss of a placental uterine interface and 4. An abnormal uterine bladder interface. The use of color and 3D Doppler ultrasound is also helpful in diagnosing placenta accreta. For example, an ultrasound may detect increased vascularity or blood flow that is beyond normal. May the great almighty God bless us all. Thanks for watching. If you found this study interesting, 
please click on subscribe, like and share. Why do you subscribe to be notified each time a video is uploaded? Thank you.